very big changes are coming to Printify. I just got back from Riga, Latvia, where I was able to go and actually tour the Printify office, meet with pretty much everyone that worked there. I met some amazing content creators and I got to be a panelist on their most recent event, Printify Amplify. This week was seriously amazing. There were content creators that I have been watching since even before I started my print on demand journey that I got to meet with and hang out with for a full week. And we all got to be there and support each other when we were all freaking out and we found out there was 50,000 people signed up to watch this event. I got to be backstage at Printify Amplified when Printify announced some seriously game-changing updates that are coming to the Printify platform. If you want to watch the whole Printify Amplified, you can go over to the Printify YouTube channel and watch pretty much everything that happened throughout the day, but it is seven hours long. And for some of you that don't have a full day to watch, here's your recap of what was announced on Printify Amplified. And this is seriously going to be a much shortened version of my favorite updates that came. There were a ton, so if you wanna hear them all, definitely go give that a watch. And if you're looking for some inspiration, I'm there and tons of other people who have quit their job with print and demand did get to attend and talk about their experience. But this video is just so you are up to date on what is coming. The first update is under your settings and it is the new Printify branding. And what the branding is, is actually package inserts and neck labels. So package inserts, when you add them to your store, are gonna be these little slips that let you put any information you want on it. You can do a thank you, you can ask for a review, you can give them a coupon code to come back. You can use these in any way you would like. It is just a standardized package insert that is gonna be included in all of your orders. This is only with a select amount of print providers. So not all of them currently have this right now it's Demona T, Monster Digital, Print Clever, Printify Choice, SwiftPod, and coming soon, Duplium. Two of the most common print providers are Monster Digital and SwiftPod, so that is great news because they're pretty much all I use. And another big update to branding within certain print providers are the new addition of neck labels. So neck labels are going to be pretty much where the tag is on a shirt. You can have your logo to really brand your products. So with SwiftPod, for example, when you go to your designing page, if you just go all the way over to neck labels, label inner, you can add your logo. So when someone receives this, there is no doubt that you printed this and it just really gives to the branding of your store. When I've added these, it looks like it's an average of about 60 cents more when you add a neck label to your product. These two new additions are really going to change the experience from your customer. If they are getting a product that just looks super generic in a random package, there is no branding. It is very questionable as to where things came from. But now that there is a custom branded insert inside. And maybe if you choose to do the neck label, this is really adding some trustworthiness to your products. On top of these new changes, this one is one of my favorites, which actually was launched during Printify Amplified, but I don't think it was talked about much, which is the ability to now add custom gift messages within your products. So what these are, are if a customer on Etsy puts in on your gift messages, happy birthday to blank from blank, then that message is actually actually going to show up with their order. This was not available in Printify before, and it is something I have been asking for forever because so many customers ask for it, especially during Q4, which is coming up. So to set this up, again, go back into your store settings and then go on over to gift settings. And in here, you're gonna make sure you want to enable gift messages for eligible orders. This is another one that's not available from everyone yet, but it's pretty much the same people as the inserts, Demona, Monster, Print Clever, Printify Choice, SwiftPod, and coming soon, Dupli. You do need to make sure on Etsy now that you have your gift messages turned on. They probably were previously turned off because this was not a possibility. But when someone now fills out that gift message, it's automatically going to be brought into Printify and printed with your order if it is illegible. The next massive thing, probably one of the biggest things announced in Printify Amplified is the AIQC, which is Artificial Intelligence Quality Control, which is soon coming to Printify. Printify has stated that this is not fully ready and they don't know exactly when it's going to be released, but it is in the horizon. And what AIQC does is they actually have an AI camera that is going to scan every single order to double check it for accuracy and to make sure that the quality is extremely good when it's being shipped out. So what this is going to be checking for is that the right product is selected, the right color is being sent out, the right size is being sent out. They're also going to check the horizontal offset and the vertical offset, which is how it's placed on the shirt. And then last 
last is going to be checking the alignment again to make sure it is straight and then is also going to be checking the color accuracy when this is done it's actually going to attach a photo to your order and you are going to be able to see your product before your customer even gets it this is a massive deal that way if a customer is complaining and maybe they're making up a lie you're going to see it first you can check your order before your customer receives it and you can take a look too to make sure that the order is accurate and you're also going to have this ai camera that is going to be checking all of this for you to add as an extra barrier to be making sure that only high quality prints are being sent out this is one of the things that when it was announced and printify amplified my jaw was on the floor because this is something i would have never even thought to ask of and i'm hoping it's going to be an amazing new tool to ensure that we are getting a lot less quality complaints the next new game changing offering which was actually announced a little bit ago but they did now provide more information on was the printify express shipping so with express shipping orders are going to go immediately into production so there is no waiting 24 hours or if that is what you've set you are not allowed to put in the branded inserts or any of these additions because their goal here is to get this out the door asap and into your customers hands within two days so to find what print providers offer express delivery just go to the product you plan to offer scroll down and you want to make sure you are checking the offers express delivery checkbox this is another one that is solely being rolled out and not all print providers yet offer it and not all products either but if you do want to turn it on you're going to scroll down and then you can see the offers express delivery of monster digital marco fine arts and then when you create an order you're going to turn on express delivery so once you create your order you're going to see choose shipping method and you want to make sure you are turning on express keep in mind that this is currently only available for customers within the us once this is published printify does weirdly make you add a personalization which makes your customer put in their phone number which is very interesting i guess they need that to offer the express delivery but now if you have a us customer and you keep this shipping profile on they're going to be able to select between your standard shipping or being able to pay a little bit more to offer this two-day express delivery so the next new addition is called printify connect not currently yet available for etsy but for shopify and some of the other platforms it is and what it looks like is when your customer makes an order they're going to get a message from from a Printify email, but they can't tell that it's Printify because it's actually gonna look like customer at trackorder.site. That's gonna have their tracking information. It's also going to allow your customer to report any issues with their order. And that is actually gonna be sent right to the Printify team so they can deal one-on-one -on -one with quality issues, saving you tons of customer service time. They're gonna get an email that looks like this, which is gonna be branded to your shop and not to Printify. So they're not going to link it back to print on demand and they're going to be able to see where their order is, their tracking information, and they are able to report a problem. And if your customer ignores this email and just messages you directly, you are able to just send them this link so they can work one-on-one -on -one with a customer care specialist that they don't know is from Printify to get this resolved. I'm really hoping that this comes to Etsy one day, but it is going to be saving Shopify users and other print-on-demand users tons of time. For those that want to enable this, that again are not with Etsy, on your Printify go to your store settings go on to printify connect and depending which sales channel you have set up you're going to be able to enable this next on the horizon is the printify analytics dashboard this dashboard is going to provide you in-depth analytics as to what your best sellers are where your customers are shopping from and tons of information that is going to help you make data-based decisions for your business you're even going to be able to see stats like how many are in production how many currently have issues seeing all of your data all together is going to be extremely helpful and something we've been missing we have some vague data from Etsy but getting a different dashboard from Printify is going to help us understand the back end of our businesses for making decisions you'll be able to for example see your best-selling designs your best-selling products and more information so you know what to design more for in the future this is another new addition that hasn't been announced exactly when it is coming except that it is in the pipeline and coming soon there were some other announcements but these new additions were some of my favorites and I think 
the most game-changing ones of note that are coming or are already applied in the Printify platform. But along with these new changes, we also got some new additions to new platforms that are able to work with Printify that were announced. And two of the ones that I really wanna talk about are TikTok Shops and Hello Custom. So TikTok Shops is now able to integrate with Printify, meaning when people are looking at your TikTok and they want to buy, say, your sweatshirt that you are wearing, they can click on your TikTok and they're able to buy from Printify from your branded store right within the TikTok app. I do have a warning for people who are starting this now though, and my recommendation is to wait until this is more ironed out. Right now, you need to offer free shipping. You need to ship your product within two days. It needs to have tracking and you need to be able to offer returns up to 90 days after that this has been shipped to your customer. And if you don't follow any of these rules, TikTok can cancel and refund your order even when you've already paid for your product and shipped it out. There unfortunately have been many cases of people already complaining about this, about spending time marketing their store and sending it to TikTok shops just to have TikTok cancel it on them, but they've already paid Printify. So now they've lost money. Printify in the forums have said that they are ironing out this with TikTok so that this is more viable to be done within print on demand. So my current suggestion is to kind of wait until we hear a more ironed out announcement from Printify regarding how this is actually gonna work so that we're constantly not being a little screwed over by TikTok refunding all of our customers. And then the next tool that was introduced that has got me really excited and I got to meet the founder, Steven Chin, is the new platform called Hello Custom. Hello Custom is a personalization app that is actually integrated with Printify. And what it does is it allows you to offer customization without having to do the design and resync it to Printify anytime because Hello Custom actually uses AI to grab the personalization from your orders that your customer provided to put it into your design so that you actually don't have to do anything once you get a personalized order except for hit approve. Customization is a way for you to really stick out within your niche and get sales and stick out among hundreds of print on demand sellers. But so many sellers do not want to offer customization customization because it does take time because every time you get an order, you have to go edit your file, resave it, re-upload it to Printify and assign it to that order, which also leaves tons of room for mistakes. But with Hello Custom, again, what they do is they automatically pull the personalization into your design. They hook up with Printify so that you just have to take a look within Hello Custom, hit approve, and then your order is sent to Printify with that personalization. In this video, I'm just doing a quick recap, but I actually have a full tutorial of Hello Custom if you want to go check it out so that you can start adding personalization to your store. All right, guys, this is my recap of my favorite things that were announced during Printify Amplified. Again, if you are curious and you are looking for some inspiration, I do highly recommend that you watch all of it. You can watch it on two times speed to speed that up if you don't want to watch seven hours of content. And at four hours and 15 minutes, you get to see on me on a panel in which I was extremely nervous for, but I'm glad it turned out okay. Let me know what you guys think of these new changes being added, which ones you're going to use, which ones you're going to avoid. And let me know if you ended up watching or tuning into Printify Amplified. Thanks guys.